chunk of yards and now in Robert Morris scoring territory. Oh, the false broke a tackle sweeping around the left side. Three Colonials had him pinned in, but they didn't bring him down, and he runs it in from 15 yards out for an opening drive touchdown for Wagner. And boy, what a mistake by me rambling on about the previous play, and Ryan Folds gets the play to the left, sidesteps the tackler, gets spun down to the ground, but he puts his hands down, Chris, does a little bit of a mad move, sidesteps a would-be tackler at the five-yard line and just dives into the end zone. Wagner impressively takes the opening drive, goes right down the field on fourth and two, picks up the first down. Next play, Ryan Folds touchdown. Wagner looking to go up 7 nothing. He is an incredible running back. We knew that, and now the extra point kick is up. It's tall and away by his right shoulder. Gets the snap, Linta, two-step drop, looks to the right, fires a rocket shot oh. over the middle, it's bobbled, and is it intercepted? They're gonna rule that a pick. The Colonials come up with the interception, and it's gonna be Miles Canton diving to the turf to grab that ball. I've got a feeling they're gonna review the play, though. I'm looking for Green Vest there. Position themselves. Play fake, Walker steps up, throws over the middle, there's Bowie, great grab out of the sky, and Bowie almost Outran the man to the end zone, but jumping on his back was Myron Morris, the defensive back who saved the touchdown for Wagner. Bowie gives the Colonials all the way down to the six-yard line, first down and goal. And Bowie coming in late into the season, Chris, in terms of actually just getting some time with this offense, and the coaches did say to us, Chris, and they've said it before, once this young man figures out what we're trying to do offensively. Left of the field. Here's Linta, backpedaling, bootleg, rolls right, looks downfield, lofts one tall, he's got his tight end wide open. Nobody was covering Chris Woodard, and Woodard made the grab at the 15-yard line and then angled his way to the post for another Wagner touchdown. Clear miscommunication back there. Tight end leaked, went right down the middle of the field, Chris. No one covered him. Everybody seemed to bite up on that play action like we talked about. Quarterback Linta rolled to his right a little bit, and it's one of the most difficult passes, I would assume, that haven't thrown that many in years. So if you start That's something correct. and you do hit something dirty or do something crazy that you're singled out, you're gone. That is correct. And look where the Colonials will end up with the football all the way downfield after the two penalties were assessed against the individuals. They have the ball at the Wagner 35-yard line. Here's Terrence Stevens, stutter step move, tries to drill his way up the middle. He'll find maybe two. Two tight ends, two flankers in for Robert Morris. Play action fake, Walker steps up, wants to throw. It's batted down from behind him. And the man who batted the ball, Cam Gill, grabs it and recovers it. And it's a turnover by the Colonials. What a beautiful strip Ooh. that was by Cam Gill defensively. for Wagner. Linebacker, he came out of blitz. Stevens went to go pick him up. Just understepped him a little bit, ran right through him, actually got that hand up, tipped that ball out of Walker's hands before it could come forward. Easy call for a fumble. They're going to review it, but it looks like it's going to stand. But he's just such a ball hawk, Chris. Not only does he get the tip, he runs around everybody else, picks up the ball, and he starts running like, get out of my way, guys. Running back, and they got Foles at the Wildcat. My goodness. He gets the direct snap. He's going to run it left. He'll be banged into, and the Colonials will stack him up at the one, but the pile keeps driving. And finally, whistles will blow. It'll be Wildcat again, false with it. Sweeping left, looking, looking, wants to throw, and it's intercepted by Robert Morris. I kiddingly told Bernard Clark during our pregame show today, we see him run, we see him catch, but we don't see him pass very much, and I'm glad he tried it today because the Colonials just intercepted him in the end zone to shut down the Wagner drive. T.J. Linta with a handoff to Foles. He'll come right side, gets a big hole, 50, 45, 40. Good He's going to outrace the defense, 20. Down to the 10, he's into the end zone. Ooh. Touchdown. A 45-yard gallop that time for Ryan Foles and that proverbial hole you could drive a truck through. Elias will be on the call with me tonight. Here is oh. Barr. He tried to go with a pump fake, and the ball came squirting loose as he was hit. It's going to be scooped up and returned for a Wagner touchdown. Running it all the way down to the house is Jordan Haven, the linebacker out of Windsor, New York. So basically what happened there was Walker trying to pump fake the football, got rattled, and the ball came squirting out. High backfield this time for the Seahawks with a wing to the left. Fulce will follow the wingman. Gone. He'll cut up field. Gone. He's going to break it open 40-30. It's a foot race down to the 20 to the 10. They hit him in the back, but they push him into the end zone for the 
Wagner touchdown. Let's see what happens here. They're lining it up. Here's the snap, the placement is down, the kick by Sylvester is on its way. It's end over end, it's tall, it's strong, it's long, it's good. Taking their time, calling for the snap, placement is down, Sylvester puts his foot into it, angles it toward the pipes, and it's good. Jimmy Walker comes in, takes the snap, takes the knee, that gets the clock ticking, and it's officially over this ball game and the 2018 season. Unfortunately, Robert Morris couldn't finish off on a high note, they, as a matter of fact, it's a pretty sour note they go down today, 41 to seven.